Hi everyone, I'm Rajat, a computer science PhD student at University of Southern California. Today I'll be presenting our work on I Know What You Did on Venmo, Discovering Privacy Leaks in Mobile Social Payments. This is a joint work with Pityu, T. Shank, Dr. Dheeraj Murthy, and my advisor, Dr. Yelena Markovic. I'll be covering the following contents, background and motivation, followed by the objective, data sets, methodology and results, other concerns and recommendations, and finally, the conclusions. Background. Venmo is a US-based mobile social payments platform. Each Venmo transaction requires a payment note, which is a brief memo. By default, these memos are visible to all other Venmo users. And public by default policies can actually create privacy risks to users. Look at the notes on the right side here. So the user has a child called James. They went to Disneyland. James goes to Harvard Elementary School. The user has a sister, Susan, with whom they split the cost of their parents' gifts and also went to Flower Garden for scuba diving. So the intuition here is that the users may not make a conscious choice to share such information publicly, but are instead doing this by inertia because the platform makes everything public by default. Motivation. So there are several anecdotal incidents wherein oversharing one's personal information online has proved to be very dangerous. For example, last year, the US President Joe Biden's Venmo account was discovered using the app search tool, revealing a network of his private social connections and White House officials posing national security risks for the country. Similarly, last year, the US representative Matt Gates' Venmo transactions were used as an evidence in an investigation of his adult relationship with three minors. In addition to these two incidents, there are Many other news reports wherein oversharing information on Venmo or other social media networking platforms have led to theft, health benefit loss, etc. Hence, in this work, the objective is to quantify Venmo notes privacy risks with respect to sensitive notes such as drug, alcohol use or purchases, political orientation, adult activities, etc. We also investigate users' privacy behaviors over time. We show the privacy dangers of group payments on Venmo and discuss other ways of oversharing private data on Venmo beyond notes. Finally, we provide recommendations for improvement. So what is sensitive information? Information that if leaked can cause inconvenience, embarrassment or unfairness to an individual. In this work, we considered privacy laws around the world and how tech giants view sensitive content in order to come up with the list of sensitive categories that we look. So on the right, we show the different sensitive categories that we consider in this work along with an example when more note. So these include adult content, LGBTQ, health, drugs, alcohol, gambling, political opinions, race, ethnicity, violence, crime, relations, location, account details, email addresses, phone numbers, physical addresses, product activity details, such as uh, tracking numbers of, uh, of like uh, courier service. Data sets. Please note that all the data sets that we describe here include only the publicly visible Venmo data. Uh, we have four data sets here, D1, which covers six years of all public data on Venmo. The, the, rem, the remaining have sample data because of changes in Venmo API, which we collected later. D2 was actually publicly released by others. Further, we also utilize a D2 data set to build a ground truth data set for our methodology, which I'll be explaining in the next slide. So in our ground truth data set, three co-authors annotated this data set. One annotator manually selected notes at random from D2 and labeled them until we had 1,000 per category for training and 100 notes per category for testing. The other annotators validated these labels. Methodology for identifying sensitive notes. So we developed a classification framework, Senmo, which classifies a transaction note as 
one or more of the sensitive categories. A note can also be classified as non-sensitive if it does not contain any sensitive information. It has a simple pre-processing module and a semantic engine module for learning or classifying notes as one or more of the sensitive categories using the machine learning based NLP technique BERT. Moreover, we also use regular expressions for directly discerning categories such as email, phone numbers, addresses, etc. We find that Senmo achieves per note classification accuracy of about 90% on the ground truth data set, and it does well on the individual categories too. Because we have high true positives, it means that we catch a lot of sensitive notes. Small false positives indicate that we do not misclassify something innocuous as sensitive. Uh, actually, we may miss some sensitive notes, and our analysis is really an underestimate. So using Senmo, our findings are that 41 million notes out of 389 million notes, which is roughly 10.5% leak sensitive information. 8.5 million users out of 22.5 uh, million users, which is roughly about 38% are affected. So we can say that about two in five users posted at least one sensitive note. And among the sensitive notes that the users posted, relation and drugs, alcohol, gambling are two of the most frequent categories. One can infer details about a Venmo user regarding, for example, who their family members are, do they have kids, are they married, are they divorced, do they engage in activities like drugs, alcohol, gambling, and how often do they do that? So what may happen is that some users who are actually privacy conscious and, and technically savvy can decide to make their transactions private or visible only to friends. Venmo has an option in their API for making such a setting. We cannot see these transactions, but we can infer them as as all the Venmo transactions and user profiles are numbered sequentially. So from the gaps in our data sets, we can infer what is non-public and quantify it. We find that although the percentage of users with public profile declines, the sheer number of users with privacy risks actually rises over time. So with the help of these two figures, we present the public and non-public user profiles and total notes from April 2013 to 2018. We observe that privacy risk increases over time despite users measure to contain it because of the exponential growth of uh, the number of Venmo users over time. Further, a user that does not know how to make their transactions not public may actually post cryptic notes. In this work, we define cryptic notes as notes with one or more of the following patterns. These may contain only emojis, only random numbers that don't match our regular expressions, or only English interjections and greeting patterns, or only English top words, use English letters that don't contain a vowel, um, or it could be notes that are longer than 30 words, which are usually copy-pasted notes. So for cryptic content, the trends indicate that users are increasingly trying to protect their privacy. Measuring risks from group transactions. So membership in certain groups can actually be considered sensitive as it can pose privacy risk to users if it's publicly known. So in this work, we focus on three types of groups, so Alcoholics Anonymous, Gambling, and Biker Gang groups. Our methodology includes utilizing keywords to identify candidate sensitive groups. Uh, and we then prune low activity and unrelated groups. Finally, we identified about 31,000 such groups. <clears throat> and for these groups around 40 to 50% of the users post at least one sensitive or common pattern note while the rest try to hide their membership by posting unrelated notes. However, all the users get affected. other concerns and recommendations. So what happens is that when a user installs Venmo app, it would ask the user to import contacts. If the user agrees, their contact will become visible friends on Venmo. This is not ideal because for example, a user could be calling their doctor to find out about their test results or 
or a user might be having a private relationship with someone and don't want to disclose it publicly. So they will be publicly visible as friends on Venmo, which the user wouldn't want to happen. Moreover, we also found inconsistencies with friends list visibility and, and public feeds, even after users set them as private across the different Venmo APIs. Our responsible disclosure regarding the same to Venmo and PayPal helped them fix these issues in November 2021. We also identified scams, phishing accounts, and users sharing personal documents via Venmo notes. Finally, our recommendations are for user actions, users should immediately make private all their past, present, and future transactions and their friends list. For Venmo, they should consider private by default settings. So from a user safety point of view, private by default is the best policy. Further, users should also have full control of their profiles. So this feature should be added to enable users to fully control their privacy settings. Conclusions. Our large scale analysis highlights serious risks from a public by default policy for mobile social payments as most users don't have either the technical literacy to change uh, default privacy settings or the awareness of what their information leaks can do over time. So public by default model poses real privacy risks for users. Platforms with public feeds have a duty of care to monitor unintended risks in these shared data. Thank you very much for listening to this talk. Uh, questions, please.